Let me show you some interesting matches played by members of GP365 and Friends Club in the Tour 6 and 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wider Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. The first match is a fight between two victorias played by Hitman101, one of the most accurate members of GP365 and Friends Club. He has a very nice forehand shot, high accuracy and a very clever way of playing. Here he is facing a Victoria having much higher stats in terms of serve, forehand and backhand. So his opponent is having only a lower agility and stamina, but Jose Lamata is using a Mastro Monty and that makes the playing field much more even. So, as you can see, Hitman 101 starts the match very well, leading quickly 4-0, thanks to very nice automatic reflexes of a high serve big forehand specialists. He even leads 5-0 at one moment. And then his opponent is going to wake up a bit to try and adapt to his uh, strategy, to his automatic reflexes. He's going to insist a bit more on his backhand to try and hit more accurately. And that works quite well because he's coming back slowly. Yep, Jose Lamata has some very good forehand shots too. Hitman 101 is serving on the weaker hand of Jose Lamata and hits a very nice winner and he ends the match with an ace. That was possible because his opponent's agility was not very high. Well, let's see the second match played by Kiko190 versus Defenelon. Kiko190 was using nylon string and his opponent was using the Sibiran wire playing with a Florence. Kiko 190 was using nylon string so put on cards that gave him enough stamina to play with and playing the high serve big forehand style. Nylon string is actually not uh, too bad a string for use Two. because if you end rallies quite fast you don't have much problem of uh, stamina consumption. I would say that playing with nylon string is even better for him than to use uh, the Siren Wire or the Punisher God, for instance, which are strings that uh, drain stamina very fast, provoking long catch. Too bad that cross court didn't get in. So, Kiko190 was led 1-4 and then he started to uh, hit some nice serves, very nice cross court shots, flirting with the lines to outflank this uh, Florence. This uh, counter puncher was uh, about to uh, crack a bit. Very nice cross court drop shot there. Yeah, I recognized my <laughs> combo there. I love to hit that combo. And Kiko 190 hit it perfectly too. That is uh, one of the best combos for use versus the Siren Wire and especially the counter punches using this um, premium regular string. And by the end, well, as you know, a counter puncher without a lot of stamina is not uh, very dangerous anymore. Then Kiko 190 we have uh, plenty of opportunities to outflank this Florence among others with uh, the help of this cross court some soft cross court shots beautifully executed well enough and an ace to end the match it was possible because this Florence had no more stamina to run to try and activate long catch let's watch now a match between two Kaitos using both a nylon string in tour 6 they almost had the same stats. Fortune, the opponent of X12, 
was having only one fewer backhand, but uh, that should not be so penalizing for him. So, because uh, there is a great similarity in strings and in stats, this will be a fight of accuracy, hitting pattern reading, and uh, order strategy only to determine the winner of this match. Yeah, Fortune try to make a down the line acceleration there without much success. So training with the nylon string is a, a harsh one, but uh, it is quite profitable actually, because it will force you to uh, think much more about uh, stamina saving instead of relying all too much on the Maestro Monty and its uh, stamina shintia too. So you will try to end rallies faster and that way you will try to outflank or wrong foot your opponent much earlier. You will have a greater motivation, greater incentive to try to end rallies at all costs very quickly because you know that you may lose stamina very fast using the nylon strings saying that's right that's a very good training and that's what a lot of members of GP365 and Friends Club chose as well as uh, some of their opponents not always using nylon string it's up to them of course to uh, use the string they want but really I think that uh, the use of nylon string is very good to improve your game Let's watch now a match between Tim Holm and an opponent having a apparently Japanese or Korean name. I don't know how to pronounce it. So Tim Holm was using a Victoria having a rather high agility, 4 to a 6. A serve which is not very uh, weak, but uh, which is not strong neither. And a big forehand. So Tim Hum we needed to cover a bit his Victoria backhand because uh, she has a weaker backhand and this Kaito is going to take advantage of this by hitting most of the time on this Victoria backhand but now and then we try to uh, wrong foot her by hitting the completely other side. So of course Victoria's forehand is going to be devastating in some rallies. This is the main strength. Uh, Victoria and Tam Home is going to uh, of course profit of uh, that forehand whenever possible. Tam Home was using nylon string and the opponent was using Maestro Monty, so of course Tim Hum needs to end the match very quickly, otherwise his victory is going to lack stamina terribly by the end of the match. Very nice down the line shot there. Admirable forehand winner and to end the match. That's exactly what you need to do when you play with nylon string. You have to take risk to hit those winners on the line. Otherwise, you win run like a total by the end of the matches. Let's see a match versus uh, two similar burns. Two Victoria having the same outfit. So this time, Hitman101 is going to uh, use the Siren Wire because his opponent is having a huge forehand. Actually, not only the forehand, it's the whole build which was better for his opponent, Seb. So Seb was having a higher agility, better stamina, higher serve, slightly higher, much bigger forehand, slightly better backhand. But uh, as you are going to see, the use of Siren Wire is going to be profitable for Hitman 101 here. Of course, the stamina is going to uh, go down a bit faster, but 
because Hitman 101 can hit very hard, he can trigger those critical shots now and then, and he has precision to counter. Yeah, that is exactly what high serve big forehand specialists do. They pretend to uh, leave the space completely open. And then the opponent will hit towards this zone, empty zone, and then they curse come back at the last moment to hit the forehand winner return. I have seen and faced that trick, that, that tactic, very often while playing versus Omer, Shoni Shoni, Barat, Fox, Weinvik, etc. And of course, Hitman 101 in friendlies. But, uh, well, that is a good strategy for use. Especially when you have a, a forehand counter string having long catch. As you can see, that was a beautiful fight by the end. With uh, Hitman 101 having less stamina, but good accuracy to end the match. And he had to do that, otherwise he would be doomed by the end of the match without any stamina left. Which is often the case when you use Sibiran Wire. Let's watch a match between Kiko190 and PTX Star 4. Both were using high serve big forehand. And both were playing with nylon string. That's interesting. So, PTX Star 4 was having a slightly bigger forehand. But Kiko190 is uh, having the advantage of stamina. And given that both are using nylon string, if the opponent of Kiko190 can't and rally is fast enough, well, Kiko190 will just need to uh, try and bring his opponent into long rallies to wear him out and then take advantage in terms of stamina. Because as you know, by the end of the match, when one of the players uh, is having low stamina, it's much harder for him to keep a good accuracy to be positioned correctly. Yeah, that was too bad because Kiko190 was uh, positioned perfectly there, anticipating for that corner shot, and then the return was uh, not achieving the uh, accuracy needed to be a winner. Fortunately, he's going to catch that up. Hitting some very nice forehand here. Five, Look at that parabolic return. Good anticipation again. And again. But will that be enough? My gosh. Kiko190 was lucky there. His opponent. Hit the net while trying this cross court drop shot. And because his opponent was having low stamina, that was easier for Kiko190 to end the match with an ace. Especially with this, uh, an opponent having low agility, which was the case of his opponent. Well, let's see a match between X12 and Maif Mafo. X12 was uh, practicing with volley while his opponent was playing with a counter puncher style using a big forehand while trying to swipe very fast his opponent go to the net so X12 is a member of uh, our GP365 and Friends Club who loves to practice with different styles and that's good that's very good for him. That will be very profitable once uh, he reaches uh, higher tours because he will know much better how to counter different signs if himself has practiced a lot of signs. For instance here, if he plays with volley well, he will know better how volley players think and we try to uh, counter them better when he plays with counter puncher or high serve big forehand later.
very nice volley return on the line. And good anticipation here too. Yeah, it looks easy, but it's not. Very well played. So, this is another match with volley, but this time versus another volley player. Of course, no nylon string here. You know that volley players need the Maestro Monty. And you need to be a very good volley player if you want to practice with nylon string only and still keep a good win ratio. Very nice return. Yeah, Willy was placed correctly to catch, but uh, X12 was paying attention, and this time Willy got him with the quick catch. But then X12 took the point back. Yeah, X12 has some problems with the internet connection a lot of Wi-Fi symbol wow X12 was a bit lucky there with that uh, lob volley that uh, didn't go into the court but well in a match between two volleyers sometimes you need luck activating quick catch is one of the those lucky moments as you know Activating quick catch is a, a matter of luck too. This is not something automatic when you have Master Monty, and fortunately, because otherwise that would be a nightmare for counter punches if volley players activate the quick catch all the time with their Master Monty. Finally, for the last match, let's see a match between X12 and Marcat. So, so X12 was playing with a Kaito and counter punches style using nylon string. Marcazzo was using high sub big forehand using Maestro Monty. So that will be a, a nice opposition of styles. So the serve of Marcazzo was not so fast, but he has some nice forehand shots behind. Sometimes not so accurate like on the previous point and the forehand shot was enough even if it was not hit at full power to force X12 to commit those errors hitting the ball a bit too long so X12 is trying to root Makazo on the ground before hitting a backhand, big backhand to outflank him. And of course, because Marcazzo's backhand is weak, well, X12 needs to insist on this side. But not only, of course, now and then, you can try to uh, wrong foot your opponent by hitting on the uh, strong hand side. And that is what X12 did to end the match from footing Makazzo. Nice match. Well, I hope you enjoy watching some interesting matches played by GP365 and Friends Club members in the Tour 6 and 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Winder Live Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye-bye.